All right, we'll try to be quick. 212 Paddock Lane here in Wilmington, Delaware. Listed by Derek at EXP. Great guy. And uh, also does videos. So I'm gonna give him a lot of props because um, I'm a huge fan, as most people watching this know. So let's do the exterior first. A lot of curb appeal here. Shingles do appear to be three tab. And it's still chilly out, so I'm gonna move quickly. You got your two car garage turned on the side. Just take a quick glance at the neighborhood. Got a mix of house designs there, which I like. Adds to the character of the neighborhood. A lot of seasoned trees here, far enough away from the house that I don't have any main concerns, but obviously <laughs> do your own homework. We have a screened in porch off the back here. And uh, the story is the same in the back. So <sighs> nice, good looking tree there. Not a lot of low branches to be concerned about. But again, always do your own due diligence. Uh, this video is only for informational purposes only. And just so everybody is fully aware, this is Matt Lenza filming it with uh, Keller Williams Real Estate. So I'll take you around. Wow, look at the back. Nice. And uh, at the end of the video too, I always add in just a couple generic slides and that will have my broker's information on it and uh, our contact information. So try not to put it in the beginning to scare people away. Because again, these videos are meant to help. And right now, this one's actually for my clients and my client's family, because <laughs> they're not able to be here. But uh, the video can do a nice job of showing it. Uh, and let's be clear, not just my video, anybody who does a video, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> So this is what I call the exterior 360 degree tour. Check everything out. I like the brick here. There's already a car there for the next appointment. Gotta love this. And we are the very first one after it left coming soon status. So front porch, shoes off, hand sanitizer. Here we go. Actually a good foyer coming in. Got a lot of elbow room. Keep it there. All right. See the chair rail? All right, this room's all by itself, meaning there's no connector to the kitchen. You got a wood burning fireplace, hardwood floors, chair rail and crown molding. If I had to venture a guess, this is massive. It really is. Pseudo bay window there with those big three windows. Take you over here, dining room, big eight seater. Again, crown molding, chair rail. And let's take you over here. Windows, wooden single clasp. They have storm windows in there. There you go. Let's cook closet, it should be. As soon as you come in, hardwood floors continue through there. Let's venture this way. So this is the powder room. One piece toilet, blue floor, wallpaper. I'm gonna leave that on and turn it off. This should be the basement. Yep, lights are on already. First bedroom we're in, number one. <laughs> Single bed, but plenty of room for pretty much as big as bed as you want in this room. It's a good size. There you are. So hardwood floors, I'll spin you around. Probably the original floor, but the coloring works. So let's keep rolling. I'm gonna show that to you. Yeah, nice full bath with a window. Yeah, the tile, pretty neutral. That's what I wanted to say, but I was too busy taking it in. All right, and lights already on. Big walk-in closet. <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> <laughs> Open kitchen. I like that. Windows looking in the back. All right. Cool little nook there. This is gonna be a pantry. I don't wanna misspeak. Sometimes I do that and it's a laundry unit. 
Back bedroom here. Oh, nice. Another fireplace. And we'll lock this. Screened in porch. That looks like it has plastic on it too. Just for, uh, you know, keeping the warmth in. All right. Nice ceiling here, crown molding. This should be the garage, and it is. Nice two car garage with a door. Nice, neat, and clean. Oh, and by the way, up there, attic access. All right, slowly spin you around, get every angle. Now the hardwood floors are here. It looks like they have a laminate in the kitchen. It blends well, in my personal opinion. Vantage point of the dining room here. All right, I do believe that covers everything in the first floor. Let's head on down to the basement and it's unfinished. Checking out the pattern. Big French drain was finished. You can see the drop ceiling in place, so you can do that again if you want. You got your water line. Wow, nice, neat, and clean. Walk out. It still is cast iron, just painted. I mentioned walk out. We'll do the panel in a little bit. This part's somewhat subdivided. You got your water heater there, gas fed. All right. Looks like we have service by Horizon at some point in time. Dryer's electric, sump pump and pit. Got your sink and then the panel, which is, I gotta check that. Just be careful when anyone opens this, there's an open breaker there. Some people don't know. But yeah, stay away from that. Uh, storage under here. And, huh, I made this an office. It looks like it was finished before. Fantastic, so that's the basement. We're gonna do our customary switch. <laughs> See, so hardwood floors here. Tell you what, big open hallway. Bedroom three and four. Remember, we saw one downstairs, so we're up to four. It's a clean bed. Closet looking out the backyard. And I'll tell you what, I like that nook there. I think that adds some character. Oh, cool. And this one, bonus room, walk in closet, pink pan. I mean, you put a ping pong table here. Look how big that area rug is. I'd venture to say seven by nine. Just a quick estimate on that rug. And um, heck yeah, if it can support it, check, obviously. Ping pong table, no problem, I would say. But um, a pool table is a little heavier. So storage all in there. Oh, this is great. Storage is storage, based on the roof line. And this room is big. So we're up to three bedrooms and bedroom number four. Cool. Whole wall full of closets over here. Fairly deep, hardwood floors go in there as well. Huh. All right, looks like a whole house fan. I'll double check that on the disclosure. Whoa, big closet, super big. And then with the roof line, it continues, so. We get lucky, we did. A lot more space there. What I wanted to point out was look up attic access. Wow, there's a lot of room here. Yeah, since your plumbing's here and you have your linen closet, I'm thinking you could almost put a stackable unit for laundry there. Again, do your own homework. You could almost go there too if you wanted to build something in. And that's if it's a must. Double sink. Oh, wow. Huh. I mean, you could even redesign this, but it's nice. Really nice. Well, I think I covered everything. Let me bring you down and have one more look at the kitchen. Yeah, I like this open feel.
music is a nice touch. <laughs> uh, but I'll leave you here.